God bless you. We want to welcome you to the World Assemblies of Restoration War Room Prayer with some of our anointed bishops and leaders. We're coming all the way from Atlanta, Georgia on this morning, and the Spirit of the Lord is already moving. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I want to just encourage you to, to share. Hit the share button right now. Hit the tag. Tag those who you know are praying, you're praying for, rather. This is a time that this is a time to have an online altar and we want to invite you to put the names of your family, your friends, tag those individuals who you know believe in the power of prayer and who are looking for a miracle. We're going to go on and get started. I feel the presence of the Lord moving here already. Hallelujah in this great virtual convocation and we're excited about what God is about to do in your life. And so I want you to just to join us in prayer even now. The scripture says that we are to enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. To come into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. We know that praise is, is the key to coming into the presence of God. And so we want to begin right now where you are. Come on. Come on. Where you are. If you're at home, if you're in a place where you can pray, turn that room into your sanctuary. Hallelujah. Forget about all this, the distractions that are around you. And let's begin right now to praise and to thank the Lord. Come on. Thanksgiving. The, the, the old folk used to say thank you makes room for more so come on begin to think about his goodness uh, and let's just begin to thank him for all of his goodness come on let's begin to thank him for all of his grace uh, let's begin to thank him for all of his mercy oh God you're the Lord of mercy you're the Lord of grace and Father we just come to say thank you on today hallelujah we thank you Lord God that last night was not our last night we thank you Lord for last night's lying down and for this morning rising up. Oh God, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. So Father, we just want to say thank you. Father, we want to thank you because you've allowed us to get out of the bed, so many of us. We want to thank you, God, because you've kept us from hurt, harm, and danger. We want to thank you, Lord, that because while we slept last night, Father, you didn't sleep, but you kept angels camped around about us. Oh God, we want to thank you that you had a fence around us. Uh, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you've covered us and protected us. Uh, Lord, we thank you that we had a bed to lie in, God. Uh, we thank you, Lord, God, that we're not starving, we're not hungry, but you've made provision for us. Uh, Lord, we just want to thank you, Father. Uh, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your mercy, God. Uh, God, we don't deserve to be here, but Lord, you have been and kind to us. Oh, God. Lord, we lift our voice to you. We lift our voice. We lift our thanks to you, oh, God. Unto thee, oh, Lord, do we give thanks. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving. We come before your presence with praise. We're thankful unto you and we bless your name. God, there is no God like you. There's no God that does the things you do. And Father, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for every blessing. Thank you for every answered prayer. Thank you for every way that's already been made. Thank you, God, for the healing in our bodies, God. Oh, God, we thank you that you did not allow COVID to take us out of here, Lord, but you preserved our lives. Some of us, oh God, have been sick. Some of us know people that have been sick, but God, we're still here. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lord, we thank you for salvation. We thank you that we've been born again. We thank you that we've been down in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that we've risen to walk in newness of life. We thank you that you filled us with your Holy Ghost. We thank you that you've kept us. Oh. God. Lord, you've given us a mind to serve you. We're here right now because you've given us a mind to pray. Oh, God. You said, seek my face. And our heart said, thy face will I seek after. Oh, God. We thank you that when the enemies and when our foes came upon us to eat up our flesh, they stumbled and fell. We thank you that no war encamped against us. God, that our heart, oh, God, shall not fear. Oh, 
oh God, you've been better to us than what we could ever be to ourselves. Thank you, Lord, for the world of symbols of restoration. Thank you, God, for vision. Thank you, God, for great leadership. Lord, we thank you for our visionary and our founder, for our apostolic father, Lord, for the honorable Bishop James David Nelson. God, we thank you, Lord, that you've kept him and preserved him and spared him. We thank you, Lord, for Mother Bessie Nelson. Oh, God, for the entire first family, God. We thank you for our sister presiders, Lord. Oh, God, for Bishop Ferguson and Bishop Levy, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for our CFO and Director of Administrative Operation, Bishop Foy. We thank you, Lord, for our General Secretary, Bishop Jackson, for our assistant, oh God, Bishop uh, uh, Bailey, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for Bishop Diet here today and for every one of the other bishops and leaders, God. Oh God, whose names we may not even call, but Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for our senior statesmen, God. We thank you, God, for 26 years. Oh God, that you've kept this organization through dangerous toils and snares. Father, we just want to say thank you. Lord, you didn't have to keep us, but we thank you. And Lord God, as we transition, Lord, we thank you because of who you are. We thank you because we know you as our Father. God, you're our Father in heaven. And Lord, we thank you that you're a good, good Father. We thank you that you're a Father that's telling us who we are. We thank you, Lord God, that you're a Father. Lord God, that has compassion on his children. Lord, like as a Father, pity his children. Even so, you, oh God, pity those that fear you. Come on, where you are, begin to thank you for being your Father. Whatever we praise him for, that's what he becomes more of in our life. And so, Father, we thank you that you're our Father. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that we're not standing in our own righteousness today. We recognize that all of our righteousness is as filthy rags. But Lord, we just want to praise you according to your great names. Hallowed be your name. You are our Jehovah Sid Canoe. You are the Lord, our righteousness. Oh God, you were made sin for us that knew no sin that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you that we have right standing with you. Oh, God. We're not standing in our own righteousness, but God, your blood has washed us. Your blood has cleansed us. Your blood has sanctified us. Your blood has made us holy. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now because you are Jehovah Makeda. You are the Lord that sanctifies us. So we thank you that you've not only forgiven our sin, you've not only called us justified, you've not only called us righteous, but God, we thank you that you've broken the power of sin off of our life. God, we don't have to do the things we used to do. We don't have to resort to the things we used to do. But God, you are keeping God. We thank you for victory right now. Come on, praise him in your home. Come on, praise him. Praise him wherever you are. He is the God of victory. Lord, we thank you for peace. You are Jehovah Shalom. There's nothing broken in us. Nothing empty and nothing missing. You made peace by the blood of your cross. And God, we want to thank you through the Holy Ghost that we have the peace of God that passes all understanding. We thank you, Lord, because you promised to keep us today in perfect peace because our mind is stayed on you. Bless your name. Oh, bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for the fullness of the Holy Ghost sweeping through even this room right now. Charging the atmosphere, the atmosphere where we are. It's the Holy Ghost. And we thank you, Lord. You are our Jehovah Shama, our present overflowing one. Thank you, Lord, for the wisdom of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the peace and the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, and self control. God, we thank you right now. God, for the gifts of the Spirit. 
spirit. We embrace everything you've got for us. And so we thank you for discernment today. We thank you, God, for prophecy today. We thank you, Lord, for tongues and interpretation today. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. For the word of wisdom, for the word of knowledge, for the gift of miracles, Fikatasha, healing, signs and wonders, God, the gift of faith, God. We thank you for, oh God, the spirit of healing. You are Jehovah Rapha. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. As you praise him as Jehovah Rapha, your healer. Healing is coming in your body. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. You are our provision. We thank you, Lord, for supernatural provision, for ways being made out of no way. Come on, praise him right now. Put your name in the atmosphere. Come on, say your name. My name is Mark Moore Sr. And God, I thank you that it's being picked up in the atmosphere. You're putting my name on the mind of people that have the power to bless me. Thank you, Lord, that we have more than enough. Thank you that we have a kingdom millionaire mentality. Lord, we don't just receive, but we're distribution centers. And oh, God, in the name of Jesus, as I transition, God, I'm asking you right now, God, to continue to make us thankful that you are our, 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 our banner of victory, God. You're the one fighting our battles. You're the one making a way out of no way. God, in the name of Jesus, you are Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Nisi, God. And we give you the praise. Come on right now, thank him. Come on and thank him. Come on and thank him. Hallelujah. And we give you the glory. And we give you the glory. And we give you the glory. Come on right where you are. Wherever your abode is. Whatever your habitat. Stay in the vein of praise. Open up your mouth. And give out God glory. Come on and offer him praise. As a sacrifice. With the fruit of your lips. Wherever you are right now. Wherever you are in the world. Who's ever viewing and watching right now. Even in our live audience. The few of us that are here. We begin to lift up our voices. We begin to give him glory for he inhabits the praises of his people. Thank you God. I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. I said thank you God. Thank you for being the forgiver of my sins. Thank you God that while we were yet sinners you decided to die for us. You didn't have to do it but we're so glad that you did and so we offer ourselves. We submit our Ourselves under the mighty hand of God so that in due time you will exalt us and so we give you the glory I need you to holler out in your room holler out in your house I need you to bow down before him I need you to surrender to his will and watch God work in your life I said watch God work in your life come on pray wherever you are come on and lift up his name for I heard him declare if I be lifted up I'll draw all men unto me walk around your house if you got to whatever you need to do tell God I apologize for not doing what you told me to do I apologize for not saying what you told me to say I apologize for not going where you told me to go thank you for another chance for another opportunity for another moment. I'm going to seize this opportunity. I'm going to seize this moment and ask and inquire creating me a clean and pure heart. Renew. I feel in the Holy Ghost. I'm talking to you right there. I heard God say he's renewing your spirit right now. He's renewing the right spirit. He's having the right thing. Has come to your house. Has come to your job. Has come to your family. Has come to your husband. Has come to your wife. Has come to your children. Oh, 
open your mouth and bless God right there. Open your mouth and give him the glory. Open your mouth with a heart of thanksgiving. Tell God thank you. Thank you for shedding your blood for the remission of my sins. Thank you for saving my soul and snatching me from the pit of hell for bringing me up out of the miry clay. I know now I turn my heart towards you. I beg for your forgiveness. I need your mercy. Brand new mercies. Brand new mercies. Brand new mercies. Brand new mercies. Somebody help me here. Somebody declare it. Somebody put it in the comments. Somebody type it right now. Brand new mercies. Brand new mercies. Do it, God. You promised that because of your mercy, we are not consumed. They are brand new. They are brand new. And they're new every day. It's another day. And I want to say thank you that you woke me up. I want to say thank you that you blew breath of life in my body. Thank you. Because the truth is, I don't deserve it. But you're a merciful God. You're a faithful God. You're a consistent God. And we bow to your sovereignty. We give you honor. We give you glory. I need praisers right here. I need prayer warriors right here. Come on, I feel us going to another dimension. I see us going to another level. Come on, war, where are you? Come on, world, where are you? Open your mouth. Let's go higher. Let's go further. Let's go deeper. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Whatever needs to be removed, God remove it. Whatever is in the way, whatever transgression, whatever iniquity, cleanse us now. Forgive us as we forgive our debtors. We thank you now. Now I need somebody to help me. Give God glory. I only got a few minutes left, but I want to take these seconds and lift up the name of Jesus. I want to bless him. I want to honor him right where you are. Right where you are. Salvation has come to your house. Forgiveness has come to your house. Mercy has come to your house. Grace sufficiently has showed up at your door. And God has done it again. I said, and God has done it again. I feel the Holy Ghost. And God has done it again. You are our efficient God. And so we have no problem, no hesitancy, no reluctancy to surrender ourselves to you. I feel a yes, Lord. I need somebody to help me. I said, renew your yes. I said, open your mouth and give God yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes to your word. Come on. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Open your mouth. Declare it wherever you are. Fill the atmosphere with a yes, Lord. Renew your yes. A genuine yes. A sincere yes. Open your mouth and declare the glory of the Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. And we still say yes amidst the problems. We still say yes. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spirits of wickedness in high places. But we still say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. 
even in the midst of every trial. Yes, Lord, we still count it all joy. Yes, Lord, knowing this, that the trying of our faith is going to work out patience. And we got to let patience have a perfect work that we might be entire and wanting nothing. I feel the presence of God. I feel the Holy Ghost breaking chains, loosening shackles. Repentance has come. We turn our hearts to you. Repentance has come. We turn our hearts to you. If my people, you cut up a hunchaya, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn. I feel a turning. I feel a turning. I feel a turning. Wherever you are, turn now. Turn. Turn. Turn till your child comes home. Turn till he heals the whole house. Turn till he performs another miracle. Turn till he sends deliverance. Turn till he opens a door. Turn until he makes a way. Turn until he does the miraculous. Turn until joy comes back. Turn till your love is renewed. Turn till you get the victory on every hand. Turn from their wicked ways. Then I feel a then coming. I prophesy a then. I said I prophesy a then. Then will I hear from heaven. I'll forgive them of their sins and I'll heal the land. I feel a healing coming. I feel a healing coming. I feel a healing coming. Somebody open your mouth and give them the glory. Somebody open your mouth and give them the praise. Somebody celebrate what God has done. Not what he's getting ready to do. Not just what he's already done. But it's already done in Jesus' name. And we give him the glory. Thank you, Lord, for accepting my yes. Thank you, Lord, for embracing my surrender. Thank you for calling me into submission. I make myself available to you. And we say thank you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 God, right now, we're in the middle of the den. Bishop said he sees a den coming. Hallelujah. This is the den. Father, where we come and we have to submit our wills. Father, this is the den, that is the den, when we have to submit our wills to you. Hallelujah. This is the tough part. This is the agony part. There must be a grace required. A grace has to come to submit wills. The book of Romans chapter 12 verse 3 says, It is by the grace of God given to me that we are able to say to you, Let no man think more highly of himself than we ought. It is in this place, O oh God, that wills are sub oh, oh, wheels are submitted to you. It is the den. This is the place, oh God, where the anguish between what we want and what you want begins to give way to what the true submission is. I give thanks and praise right now that every home that is petitioning God at this time, we're not coming before you, oh God, to tell you what we want you to do, but we've come here, oh God, to to hear what you would have us do. We didn't come here to give you orders. We came to receive orders. We didn't come, oh God, to instruct you, but we've come that we might be instructed. We've seen your presence, oh God. In this house, mighty God, we've seen your presence take precedence over our agendas. We've seen bishops now call back to prayer. 
there. Uh, there are no more people put in front uh, while the bishops are sitting back at home and in the back of church. Uh, but God, you've called us back up front. Uh, you've called us back to our first love. Uh, and you're saying, tell my bishops, uh, not my will, uh, but thy will be done. Uh, that's got to be the cry back in our hearts. Uh, and God, we say thank you now uh, as we bishops have come uh, to humble ourselves. Uh, we pray for the homes uh, that are in world assemblies of restoration uh, that right now, oh God, uh, they're hearing your word. Uh, they're filling your spirit uh, and saying, not my will, uh, but thy will be done. Uh, come on, somebody give him glory. Uh, come on, help me praise him more. Uh, help me praise him in your home. Uh, God is breaking down wheels uh, and we are all humbling ourselves uh, and getting out of the high mindness uh, and submitting ourselves to him. Uh, this is the hard part uh, to humble yourself uh, and say, God, I need you. Uh, this is the hard part uh, that says, God, no title, uh, no job, uh, no church, uh, no wife, uh, no husband uh, means anything without you. Uh, and God, I take a position uh, that I will never take now. Uh, I get on my knees. Uh, I lay prostrate before you. Uh, I get on my knees now uh, to say not my will uh, because in order to submit, uh, we got to change positions. Uh, I feel a change in position coming. Uh, somebody help me praise him. Uh, hallelujah. A change, a change in position. We got to get lay again. A change, a change in position. We've got to get low again. A change in position. We've got to lay out again. A change in position. We've got to bow our heads, bow our knees, open our hearts. Hallelujah. God, we trust you, and God, we submit to you. God, your way is the best way. Come on, put it in the comment now. Say, God, your way is the best way. Say, God, I submit to do your will, not my will. Somebody say, not my will. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Great God that you are, we accept the position uh, to humble ourselves. Uh, we accept the position uh, right now, oh God, uh, to put our trust in you. Uh, we accept the position uh, to be instructed by you. Uh, we accept the position uh, to esteem our brothers uh, higher than ourselves. Uh, we accept the position. Uh, we accept the position. Uh, somebody say, I accept. Yeah, hallelujah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, we come before you. We've been too proud. We've been too lifted up. Oh God, we come before you. The whole nation has got high-minded. And oh God, you are showing us now that without you, we are absolutely nothing. Without you, everything falls apart. Pull it back together. Pull it back together, God. We submit our wheels because that is the glue that'll pull it back together. If you would humble yourselves, he would forgive. Right now, God, we humble ourselves. We humble ourselves. We repent before you. We say not our wheels in our families, not our wheels in our churches, not our wheel in our jobs, not our will but your will be done we bless you God we all oh, hallelujah somebody say not my will hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Now, God, that the anguish is here. Now, God, that the test is here. To seek and we humble ourselves. We pray for the grace. We pray for the direction. We pray, oh God, for the right heart creating us. The heart that will turn the wheel over. Creating us. The mind that will turn the wheel over. God, in the homes of people who are struggling, God, give them a heart right now. Give them a mind right now to trust and praise you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel a turn here. I feel a turn here. Hallelujah. 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 God, turn our hearts. Turn our minds. Turn our wheels into your, 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 into your wheel. God, we bless you. God, we humble ourselves. God, we submit to you. Oh! Hallelujah. And now lastly, God, before we transition in our wheels, God, we know that we can't do it without your grace. God, we need a grace right here. We need a grace. Somebody shout grace, grace, grace. Come on, say grace, God, grace. Hallelujah. I need some kneelers. I need some prostrators. I'm tired of jumpers. I'm tired of shouters. I need some knees bending. I need some heads bowing. I need some hearts open, minds open, hallelujah, cry out to the, oh, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we bow our knees. We bow our knees. We forget about our clothes. We forget about everything. God, we just want you. 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 Oh, oh God, get that pride out of us. Oh. God, get that high mind out of us. Oh, God, get it out. Yes, yes. Uh, hallelujah. In order to make a Messiah, it has to be a broken wheel. In order to be like Christ, we got to say, not my wheel. We got to give up wheels today. Somebody give up your wheel. Give up your wheel. Give up your way. Come on, Father, we thank you. Yes, God, we thank you. Hallelujah, God, we thank you. We thank you, God. We bless your name today. You're our hope. You're our joy. You're our peace, God. You're our way maker. You're our everlasting father. Oh, God, we find hope in you on today, God. We look up to heaven today from where our help comes from. Our help comes from you on today, God. We do not look to another God. We do not acknowledge another God. You are the only true and living God and there's none other beside you and so God we come to you today in the name of Jesus with our hope towards you God with our strength towards you God with our mind towards you God and father we cry out on today we cry out for help on today you promised in your word oh God that you are our very present help in the time of trouble so we look to you on today. We look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Because all of our help comes from you on today. And so God, our souls cry out unto you, God, that you would have your way, God. Have your way in us, God. Do what you want to do, God. Move like you want to move, God. Heal like you want to heal, God. Deliver like you want to deliver. God, we trust you today. We lean and depend on you, God. Our hope is in you. We trust in you today. Oh, God, we pray that you would have your way. We're acknowledging you in all of our 
ways so that you, oh God, can direct our path. We don't look to our left, nor do we look to our right, but we look unto the hills from which cometh our help. And we ask on today, God, that you would be our help. We pray, oh God, that you will lead us and guide us into all truth. In the name of Jesus, you declared in your word that the steps of a good man are ordered by God. And so, God, we pray that you would order our steps in the bad path. Order our steps in the way that you would want us to go. Oh, God, we pray on today, God, that as we yield, God, our will We look to you for guidance. We look for you for help. Because you are God, our very present help. And so, God, on today, we ask that you will provide. Provide for your people. In the name of Jesus, even in this pandemic, many have needs, oh God. But we're trusting and we're leaning on you. We're not a people who are without hope, but our hope is in you. We're not a people who don't know which way to turn, but we turn to you. We heard your word declared that if my people who are called by my name, you said, oh God, if we will humble ourselves and pray and seek your faith and turn from our wicked ways. You promised, oh God, that you will hear from heaven. You will forgive our sin and heal our land. So, Father, we pray that you would heal the land on today. Father, we pray that you will heal in our household today. Father, we pray that you would turn situations around on today. Some of us, God, need a healing in our body. Give us this day our daily bread. Our bread for today is healing in our body. You promised to do it. You said that you're a God that will provide all of our need according to your riches in glory. We need the bread of healing. We need the bread of deliverance. We need the bread of breakthrough. We need the bread of salvation. God, our hope today is built on nothing less than your blood and your righteousness. We dare not trust the sweetest frame, but we're wholly leaning unto your name. God, send healing, send deliverance, make a way out of no way. Somebody feel like giving up today. But oh God, we know that you're able to do what your word declared you would do. You're able to turn the situations around. And so God, we don't focus on what our mishap is. We don't focus on what our ailment is. We do not focus on what we do not have, but we focus on you today because God, 
You are our source. We're not worried about the resource because you're our source. All of our help comes from you. So God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you work it out. Let somebody that's watching right now feel the power of this prayer. Let the anointing trans in through the airways and touch them right where they are. We know, God, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. So we got to say thank you. Thank you for deliverance. 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 We have a hope in you. We have a grateful heart because we know that you're working it out for our good. It doesn't matter to us what the enemy is trying to do. For your word declared that what the enemy meant for evil, you mean it for our good. He meant to take us out, but your word kept us. He meant that we would be destroyed, but your word kept us. He thought that we were going to give up, but your word kept us. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling. We thank you, God, that we're not falling. But you said in your word that if we wait on you, they that wait upon the Lord. You said, oh God, that we shall renew our strength. We'll mount up with wings as eagles. We'll run and not get weary. We'll walk and not faint. And so we thank you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, that we're not fainting. We're not giving up, but we're being steadfast and unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord because we understand that our labor is not in vain in the Lord. And so, Father, I pray on today in the name of Jesus for those who feel like giving up, for those who feel like giving in, for those who feel like throwing in the towel. Help them to know that their labor is not in vain. We cry out today, Spirit of the living God, fall fresh, fall fresh, fall fresh on us. In the name of Jesus, our desire, God, is to do your will. Our desire, God, is to be found in your will. Our desire, God, is to hear you say, well done. So, Father, we pray that you help us not to be like the children of Israel who was ungrateful for the bread that you provided. Help us to have an attitude of gratitude where we're grateful for our daily bread, where we're grateful for the roof over our head, where we're grateful for the clothes on our back, where we're grateful for the jobs that we have, where we're grateful for our family and friends who are still with us. We're grateful. We don't murmur. We don't complain. But we say thank you. We're thankful, God. We're thankful for your provision. We're thankful for your way made. We're thankful for you providing. 
our soul love you Jesus we love you on today we love you for providing thank you for being a God that loves us more than we love ourselves that you always look out for us we thank you God even when we don't pay attention you always look out for us thank you God even when we don't do what we ought to do you still provide for us and we thank you that when you bring us to the place that we delight ourselves in you you grant us the desires of our heart thank you god hallelujah god we thank you jesus We honor you today. We honor you, oh God, for being our God, the savior of our souls. Thank you, God, that even as the woman of God decreed the second chronicles anointing be upon the body of Christ, that if we which are the people of God would just humble ourselves and pray, that we will God and seek your face. God put a turn back in our souls, turning from every wicked way. God, you said according to your word, God, that you would forgive our sins and heal our lands. This morning, God, we come petitioning you according to your word, God, that if we diligently heed the voice of you, God, and that we obey you in your sight, oh God, according to your word, God, when we keep our word to you, the commandments of you, that God, you will not bring the diseases of the lands of the enemies upon the body of Christ. According to your word, God, you said that you were healed. Now, God, I ask even now, God, that you heal world assemblies of restoration. Every individual, God, God, I lift up our apostolic father. Uh, an apostolic mother God uh, I lift up the apostolic fathers in general God uh, that you heal and deliver God uh, whatever is going on in the bodies uh, heal God uh, heal your people uh, I lift up every member of war uh, and everybody across the world uh, for we are your people uh, we are the very sheep of your pasture uh, I lift them up before you uh, I stand in intercession uh, and ask you oh God uh, to heal them now uh, heal their minds uh, heal their souls uh, way with talking uh, way with thinking God uh, heal God uh, heal us physical uh, physical Leo oh God uh, that we can God uh, fulfill the assignment uh, God there's an anointing uh, on your people God uh, for such a time as this is. But we need strength, God. The joy of you, which is our strength. I ask you now, God, for strength for the body of Christ. God, get our flesh under subjection. We submit. We submit voluntarily to carry the weight of the kingdom assignment. We don't get ahead of you, God, but we are like sheep uh, that lead uh, that follow you uh, wherever you lead uh, we're gonna follow uh, God get us back in track uh, I pray even now uh, for our habits uh, according to your word God uh, sanctify our ways uh, sanctify our mindset uh, get our thoughts together uh, pull down strongholds uh, pull down every high-minded thought uh, all imaginations uh, I come against uh, satanic imaginations uh, I come against uh, satanic thoughts uh, I come against uh, satanic ways uh, I come 
come against uh, division, uh, dissensions, uh, contentions. Uh, I come against uh, the spirit of the soothsayer, uh, the spirit of the witch, uh, and the warlock. Uh, I come against uh, division in the church. Uh, but oh God, uh, sin, uh, restoration uh, on the body of Christ. Uh, sin, uh, your power, uh, be our peace. Uh, be our comforter, be our restorer, be the repairer of every breach. Lord, don't let us get so high-minded that we forget who you are. Lord, get us together. Lord, oh Jesus, I hear you in your word that you are God, that even the Lord and the Beside you, there are no others. You kill and make a lie. God, kill everything. Not like you, but resurrect us that need, that need resurrection. We need to rise. Oh God, we need to come up to the place that you have called us. It's high time that we awake out of our sleep. Oh, sleeping giants, awake and put on the Lord Jesus and make no more provision for your flesh. God, I pray now that you get us together. We have some habits that's not like you. Get them out. But we have some habits that needs to be restored. The call to prayer, the call to sanctification. Oh God, get us back in the prophetic utterance that in you, God, we live and we move and have our being. God, do it again, Jesus. God, heal, set free, and deliver. And God, I thank you that I know that at some point when the saints pray, they got to seal it uh, with a praise. Uh, and God, I praise you uh, for the healing of war. Uh, I praise you uh, that there are no uh, division among us uh, and that we are uh, perfectly joined together uh, in the same mind uh, and in the same judgment. Uh, our judgments uh, are sanctified. Uh, our judgment, uh, our Holy Ghost feel. Uh, our judgment uh, is kingdom judgment. Uh, our ways are the ways of the kingdom. We mortify the very deeds of our flesh. We are not a people that runs to mischief, but we are a people that have on the garments of praise. We are people that have on Jesus and God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Now God I ask now where there was confusion bring order where there was heartbrokenness. Heal the heart. If you don't heal it God, change it. Give us a new heart. Give us a new heart. Give us a new mind. We gotta have it, God, because we gotta see beyond the now. We got to go into higher heights and deeper depth. The deep, call it into the deep. Stretch us, stretch us, stretch us. Pull on us, get us out. Give us the love, give us love, give us love for the whole law. Hang on the love of God that we'll love you and keep your commandments that we'll love you we'll love even our enemies we'll love our haters we'll love those that despitefully misuse us and we'll give your name glory because if we do 
if we do your spirit shall abide it shall dwell on us now make this tabernacle your dwelling place this morning wherever you are lay hands on yourself and say this tabernacle is the dwelling place of the most high God and God won't dwell in an unclean temple so God Search us, search our hearts, know our uprisings from our down settings. Do it again, God, and we'll praise you, we'll serve you, we'll give you the high praises, the high praises that shows the highest level of moral excellence in our thoughts, in our actions, in our thinking, in our will, not just the shouting but holy lifestyles not just the speaking in tongues but holy word and we'll give your name the glory come on shout come on everybody let the church say yes yes the church say yes, 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 let the church say yes, 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 Lord. Lord, we're here to say yes. We're here to say yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes to the kingdom of God. We're here, oh God, to bow ourselves unto you. We're here to present ourselves a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. We're here, God, because we recognize our need. We realize that we are so insufficient and our sufficiency is of thee. And so, Lord, we come to say yes. We come to say yes. Yeah, yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. We need a revival. We need to be shook up. We need to be shaken. We need to be moved. We need to be transformed in the renewing of our minds. We need need a recreated heart we need a new spirit a right attitude and Lord if we're going to say yes we're gonna need a complete overhaul we're gonna need you God to reprogram us we're gonna need you to redesign us after your will for it's not our will but it's thy will be done and Lord we submit Submit ourselves. We bring all of our things into alignment with heaven. And we want you to give us a revival. We want you to revive thy works in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. Will you revive us? That is the rhetorical question. Because you have revived us many times over. We need another revival. We need another awakening. We need another Pentecost. We need another Azusa. Lord, we need another spiritual awakening. Not just on the day of Pentecost, but in 20, 
2021, we need to know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is still the God of today, not the God of yesterday, not a historic Jesus, but a right now Jesus. Lord, that's because iniquity is abounding and sin is everywhere doesn't mean that you can't bring revival. It doesn't mean that you can't break the yokes. It doesn't mean that you can't bow down hearts. It doesn't mean that you can't transform. Lord, every situation is a revelation of who you are and what you can do. Lord, take these chaotic times. Take this political upheaval and show them who you are. Show them that you are the God of the Bible, huh? the Old Testament, New Testament. Huh? Lord God, you're not just a historic figure. Huh? You're not just a relic of a past time. Huh? You're not just the antiquities. Huh? But God, you are right now. Huh? You are a relevant God. Huh? And we're looking for a move of God. Huh? Like you moved on the waters. Huh? Move on the tables of our hearts. Huh? Move on the altars of our hearts. Huh? We submit ourselves. We give ourselves to you. We give ourselves away. We need to be revived. We need to be restored. We need a reconciliation. We need a break up, a break out, and a breakthrough. Break us up. Break up the fallow ground. And when we break up the fallow ground then break us out and so when we come out we can have a breakthrough a breakthrough in our minds a breakthrough in our finances a breakthrough in our families a breakthrough in our church a breakthrough in war a breakthrough through the church a breakthrough oh God universally we need a spiritual awakening a breakthrough. We need to pull down every stronghold, every demonic power. We war in the heavens. We're pulling down everything the devil has set up to come against the kingdom. The devil is a liar. We take dominion. We take power and authority. We put the devil up under our feet and we take power and dominion over the works of his hand. The devil is a liar. We command you, Satan, to take up your weapons and flee. For God has given us authority to walk all over you. And so now we invoke the power. We invoke the glory. We invoke the anointing. We invoke everything heaven has for earth to claim. We invoke it. We need it right now. Right here. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Breakthrough, Lord. Help us today. Give us what we need. You know what we need even before we ask you. You know what we need even before we formulate it in our minds. You know what we need and we're asking you to supply every need for world assemblies of restoration. To touch our apostolic father and mother. To touch all our presidium uh, to touch my brother my sister uh, let us take one another uh, by the hand uh, together we'll work uh, and together we'll stand uh, unity in the body uh, unity in the mind uh, unity in the spirit uh, is a breakthrough uh, it's a breakthrough uh, it's a breakthrough uh, finances in our pockets uh, is a breakthrough uh, 
provision for the vision is a breakthrough it's a revival we need it we call on it we ask you to do it right now right here for you and you and you I invoke it I decree it I declare it that by the time we get home there's going to be a turnaround by the time we get home there's going to be a performance of the thing that we asked for and as we come to a close we ask you Lord to bless all of our works to bless the works of our hands work together give us spiritual synergy so we don't have no division among us but help us to work together let us be the glue that works together in the bond of peace we need it today as we come to a close and I hope this hour of power has blessed your hearts for each and one everyone that has come Bishop Moore thank God Bishop Dyer Bishop Levy Bishop Jackson Bishop Bailey thank you Lord we thank you as we endeavor to do the things that are pleasing in your sight we kick this off with prayer and we want that everything that we do to be synchronized by the Spirit of God and so now Lord as we get ready to sign off we ask you, Lord, to touch all the constituents on Facebook, Lord, Instagram, oh God, on YouTube, wherever they may be. I'm asking you to touch them. I'm asking you to move on them. Lord, let that be a revival in marriages. Let that be a revival in churches, organizations. It's not just for world assemblies, but it's for all the assemblies of Christ. Bring us together and get us ready for the rapture of the church. Bring us together so we can be caught up, caught up to meet you in the air. And so, Lord, we thank you for this hour of power. We give your name all the glory and all the praise. We ask you, Lord, to walk among us, to be with us, and let your will be done and bless world assembly. 